ladies, chicken breasts, hormone free, antibiotic free, free range, about to go down. No need to go to the grocery store because you just got greatness in your box. Your week's prepared meals ain't never been so good. It's important that you want to hear that sizzle. Let's get started. So simple process, we're gonna start with just a little bit of coarse salt. Be nice and liberal with it. I have a seasoning blend. You can Google yours. Mine is just what I do and I don't like to share. Give it a little pad, both sides. We wanna make sure we get inside all this extra loose line meat. Add a little magic dust. Conglomerate chicken is basically controlled and they're fed hormones to, in order to enrich the meat and make it bigger. Where these chickens are able to just be chickens, the size is gonna vary because it's just like every other human where we vary in size, shape, and form. So your cooking time is gonna be different. You just have to use your own instincts when cooking this chicken because of the freshness of it. And this is the cleanest that you can get anywhere in the world right now. All right guys, we got our dry rub on our chicken breast. Pan's hot. Now we're gonna sear the presentation side up and go. It's important that you wanna hear that sizzle. That's gonna create our crust. So all that sugar on the bottom is gonna caramelize, create a nice texture on it, just really nice bite. Please don't ruin this, guys. Please. So if you have a beer or an old fashioned, maybe the game's on, this would be the time where you do it because this is gonna be cooking like this for the next two to two and a half minutes. We'll do another two and a half minutes on the other side and then we'll throw it in the oven. We'll finish it off, let it rest. So I like to stir it. I like to make sure that it gets contact with all sides of the pan. By doing this, you get a really nice sear on all sides. So it's been roughly two and a half minutes and we got a nice sear on top. And now we're just gonna go ahead and flip it over so we can do the same amount of time on the bottom and get that same crunch. So remember guys, the most important part about chicken is we gotta cook it through or else you really might die. <laughs> okay. No, you, that's serious, that's serious. We, we don't play with that kind of stuff, but you need to cook it. Just don't like overkill it where it's super dry because that date is really not gonna like you. <laughs> so if you want, what you could do is you could pierce the side of the chicken and what's gonna happen is when you do that, it's gonna secrete some liquid and if that liquid comes out clear, then you know that it's cooked all the way through. You wanna go into the thickest part of the chicken breast and you wanna just give it a nice little touch and if it's sponging and springs right back out to you, then you know you're, you're close to being done. So I'll let these rest. So I'm just adding our sauce. So I just chose to use a simple everyday barbecue sauce that everybody has. We all know we have it. Some of us are lucky enough to have a grandpappy's barbecue sauce they have passed down, but that's not everybody. So this is a little pea stock I made. So we're gonna look to reduce it for just a little bit, not too long. The outside here will start to bubble and we'll start to cook off some of that water. I'm just looking to reduce this by half because I want it to be thick, thick and silky. So now it's starting to bubble up right here. When it's doing this, we're starting to center because we're starting to cook off all that water. So all, all of our solids are starting to concentrate itself. This process should take roughly two minutes. Don't go overboard on the sauce because you don't need to add too much to it. This is just a complement to our actual chicken breast. So I'm just adding the fat to our liquid. It's gonna be a thickening agent. And there you have it, a beautiful sauce. Nice and velvety, saucy as hell right here. This is where you probably get married. If it's winter time, this is probably where you have kids. Just so you know, guys, be careful. And now, you guys killed it. <laughs>